Hey, it's the 8th of October 2017. I'm currently standing under the iconic Chester clock, and that's what I'm here to talk about today. My side hustle, everythingchester.co.uk. Uh, it's just a little project that I've been working on of evenings and weekends when I'm not in my, my day job. Uh, you can find out more about my, my role in e-commerce in, in vlog number two. I've actually got some notes with me today to keep me uh, on track and, and, and a bit more concise. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a bit of a walk whilst I talk so you can see some of the sights of Chester as well. I'm sure I'll do a, a, another video just about Chester, uh, but I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. So from the clock, you can actually see sort of like the, the main street running through, running through Chester. And I'll take a quick look the other side. There's not that many people around today. The weather's not too good, but there's still a, a, a few tourists having a little look around. Uh, so yeah, I came up with the idea for everything Chester uh, while cycling back uh, from my, my role in e-commerce. Uh, I wanted to come up with like a, a, some sort of web project that allowed users to query a database, uh, run searches and pull back some sort of valuable information. Uh, and I wanted to pick something that was close to my heart, uh, something I was passionate about. So I chose my hometown of Chester, uh, although I, I sort of backpacked. Uh, once I finished my undergraduate degree with a couple of friends, uh, we went around the UK and then I've interrailed around Europe a couple of times and, and been to visit my brother in uh, Vanuatu in the South Pacific. Uh, actually, you can find out more about that, uh, the South Pacific, in my first vlog. I think I actually talked about my brother and all of his projects more than I did in, about myself in, in, in that one. Uh, but yeah, let, let's, let's consult the notes before I go wildly off track. Uh, so yeah, I started the project in April. Uh, like I said, the idea was it, for it to be a dynamic site, uh, but it, it seems to be quite static at the moment. But I, I just started with social media at first. Uh, started a, a Twitter account in April of this year, 2017. It's now up to around 3,500 followers. Uh, I started an Instagram account for it uh, only a couple of months ago. That's up to like 1,500 followers. Uh, all the other various social media like Pinterest for driving traffic to the site. Um, Facebook, but I, I haven't really had much success with Facebook. The, the Facebook page hasn't really got that many followers. Uh, but I guess a lot of the traffic from Facebook is coming from groups. So if I post a new blog post, uh, I'll, I'll put like a message in, in other various Chester pages on, on Facebook and traffic seems to, to click through from that. But like I said, the actual page, not, not too much success with it like, like I've had with, uh, with Twitter. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the primary uh, the primary goal of the project was just to sort of work on my web development skill set, sort of uh, my HTML and CSS. I know the, the the project would have been a lot quicker to create had I have uh, just knocked it up in WordPress. Uh, it would look a lot better as well to the to the visitors. But I guess the, the goal was really to to work on on my developing and, and coding skill set. I uh, will just take a quick little intermission here. Uh, you can actually see the. Uh, Roman amphitheatre uh, and also a bar called Off the Wall. Many a messy night has been been had in there. Uh, so yeah, uh, I actually bought the domain on the 2nd of June and coded the first page and published it in like the early hours of the morning, I think the 3rd, possibly the 3rd of June. Uh, and the, the first page was literally just a, a welcome message and an embedded Twitter stream and that was it. And since then it's sort of yeah, it's, it's grown, it's, it's really, really taken off. Uh, I guess some of the other pages that I've added, there's lots of sort of fresh content for visitors when they, when they arrive. Uh, there's like uh, news feeds, I've got like RSS news feeds in there. Uh, jobs as well, like job board widgets for, which ones have I got? Let's have a look at the list. <laughs> uh, Indeed and job site, uh, they're on there. And then also RSS feeds for, for Hayes and Randstad and things like that. Uh, I've got like a weather page for the local weather. Uh, that's that's quite simply just a, a Met Office widget that's that's embedded in there as well. So the the content on there each time visitors arrive is is new, but none of that has any sort of SEO benefit, as they're all just widgets and RSS feeds. But then I also regularly post a, a blog as well on there. Uh, I actually didn't want to to start a blog, but once I did, I've really enjoyed actually writing the content and editing the photos and things. Uh, another another quick stop. You can see the uh, the Roman gardens here. Chester's Roman gardens. We're actually on the Roman walls at the moment. It's a very uh, Roman city, and there's also a lot of uh, 
like Victorian buildings as well and you can see the, the classic black and white buildings there. Yeah, so the project's also caused me to like meet up with a lot of different people. People contacted me through like LinkedIn and, and uh, Twitter and things like that. Uh, I met up with uh, uh, a lady who's been working on uh, like a, a website called Up Today, which is like a what's on guide for Chester. So they've come up with like a map uh, where users can go and sort of pin events and like locations on the map and it's sort of the idea is everybody can contribute to, towards it. Uh, they're struggling at the moment, although they've, they've kind of got all the coding down, they're just trying to promote it. Uh, it, it doesn't really work unless everyone gets in, involved and, and starts like pinning things on the, on the map or the events going on in Chester and Cheshire. Uh, so I've kind of, I embedded that on sort of my what's on page. They, they said I could go ahead and do that because it's more exposure for them. Uh, so that's kind of, caused me not to go down the whole dynamic side of querying a database. I will we'll get round to that. Uh, but yeah, we'll just take another quick break. You can see the, uh, the grove and the bridge over there in a the distance going over the River Dee. And this, this restaurant down here is called Hickory's, Hickory's Smokehouse. It's great for like briskets and pulled pork and really like slow cooked meats as well. Thoroughly recommend Hickory's if you're in, the, if you're in Chester for the weekend. Uh, always book ahead though it's always it's always fully booked uh yeah so i I've, I've kind of put some other little little cool things on the site as well like google translate so you can translate the site into like over 100 languages i'm not sure how uh how well those translations work i may need some like spanish and french and uh people with different language skills to to check that out uh but yeah it's just just i, I find having the site as a it's good because I go to like Chester Code Up and Chester Web Devs. So as I'm picking up new uh, development skills, I can sort of implement them straight away on a, on a live project. So it's always, it's always cool to do that. So I suppose the faster you actually apply the skills you're learning, they, they stick in your, your head then. Uh, but yeah, so let's have a look at the list. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so the primary goal was sort of my web development skill set, but like a, a, a secondary goal, which wasn't the main intention, but now I've started to love doing that as well, is like the, the marketing of it and the promotion. So all the, the social media side, uh, and just trying to drive as much traffic to the site as, as I can. Uh, so I'm getting, uh, I've got Google Analytics installed on there, so I can see kind of how long people spend on the site, where they're coming from, what devices they're using. Uh, so I'm a big, big nerd, hashtag geek, uh, when it comes to looking at graphs and statistics. So I, I love doing that. But uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot more organic uh, visits to the site from Google at the moment, which is always, always good. It took a while for Google to index the site, uh, but now they have those uh, organic results are coming in. Uh, I've SEO'd the sites for meta tags and alt tags on the, the images and things. and identify keywords that I want to target so all the blog posts are usually like centered around certain keywords that I'd like to, to rank for. Uh, I actually did one blog post the one that's had the most traffic so far was like the 60 top Twitter accounts in Chester uh, and I just kind of produced a table uh, which sort of ranked them all purely based on the, the number of followers. It didn't didn't take into account like how long the the account had been running or the amount of engagement and yeah I just published that and tweeted it out to to all the other various Chester accounts and saw a huge spike in, in traffic from that and yeah I guess the, the graphs kind of like when I post new content onto the blog and then promote it there's like a massive spike and then when it when it settles back down to the base level it's always just a little bit higher so just chipping away at that and I also go to uh, uh, an SEO meetup in Chester as well uh, so I'm kind of using and applying those skills as well. We'll just stop here again. Uh, you can see Chester Weir. Uh, and that little uh, building you can see over there, actually, I did some work uh, during my undergraduate degree when I was back for the summer uh, with the environment agency, uh, like tagging salmon, because my uh, degree was in like genetics, so it was all biology based. So I was tagging the migrating salmon and, and yeah, like anaesthetizing them to, to chill them out, putting tags on them and uh, Weighing them, measuring them, all that, all that kind of thing. Proper, proper hands-on uh, data, data collection. 
Uh, okay, so I guess what I'll do is I'll put a link as well. I've been uh, posting to like Warrior Forum, though the SEO meetup's good. Uh, I also post on like the, the Warrior Forum, which is like a digital marketing forum that's online and people chip in and you can ask questions and people give you advice. Uh, but one of them was the fact that the project has no overheads and I was like, am I doing something wrong? Uh, the yeah, the whole project costs less than uh, a cheeseburger, to be honest. Uh, the domain name costs 99p from GoDaddy. Uh, that covers me for the first 12 months. Uh, every year after that, it's like 12.99. Uh, all my hosting is done through Google App Spot. Uh, that probably won't scale for free as more and more traffic uh, goes to the site. But hopefully by then I will have monetized it as well. I've kind of got some plans to, to monetize the site as well. Uh, yeah, I just kind of posted to them. Am, am I doing something wrong? Have I missed something? I don't seem to have spent any money. Uh, this place here, actually, the Baron Billet. That's where the next SEO meetup is. Love going there for a... Uh, a burger actually <laughs> they do some really good uh, good burgers and some good beers as well uh, okay so I guess at the moment I'm just in the, at the stage of creating as much buzz as I can from nothing I know I could speed up getting more people to the site by doing like uh, paid for Facebook advertising or I don't know like pay-per-click on Google and things like that but I'm really enjoying creating something from nothing like I wrote every single line of code hand-coded in notepad plus uh, plus all the contents mine all the imagery is mine and yeah it's cool just seeing people go there click around the site and interact with it and engage with it and then tweet and retweet and, and send messages over from something that's cost me yeah 99p and my time I have put quite a lot of time into it but like I said, I'm enjoying the whole process, so it's not, not really work. I cycle home as fast as I can from work, get back to about half six, throw some tea, throw some food inside me, and then, uh, yeah, start hacking away on the site till probably about 11, half 11 at night. Do that five days a week, and then if I'm not out on the weekend doing something, I'll, uh, I'll be doing the same thing then. But yeah, so like I said, it's not monetized at the moment. Uh, I'm just sort of reaching out to as many... Uh, Chester accounts and businesses and organizations seeing if there's anything I can help them with I've had quite a few people get in touch with me over Instagram and uh, LinkedIn as well, so uh, Like the core core music, which is like a promotions music thing in the Chester area They said they've gonna contribute towards the blog. Uh, I went to that opening the other day of a, of a furniture store in Chester Got to meet the Lord Mayoress and sort of all these things have come about because of the site I'm actually, uh, as soon as I finish this video, going to head straight to Hall, uh, one of the suburbs of Chester on the, on the other side, on the English side of Chester, and uh, attend a swing class, uh, so get my dance on. Uh, and yeah, that again came about because of the site, so they got in touch, Maria from uh, Cheshire Swing Cats got in touch saying she'd like to contribute towards the blog. Obviously, I'd promote that as well, so if people provide blog content all I need is the imagery and the text I'll format it how they want it put it on the site and then uh, tweet it up <laughs> really promote it and drive traffic to it as well so it's good for them and it's also content for me that I haven't had to spend time writing so it's it's win-win uh, but yeah she invited me to like Hall Festival uh, they were doing like a, a 45 minute show and then a 45 minute uh, intro dance lesson so I went along to that and I decided hey I'm gonna sign up my Sunday evenings are free so I'm gonna start heading over to, to Hall now uh, and do that so yeah I think I'll I'll leave it there I'll do my usual uh, check out everythingchester.co.uk uh, you can check out the Twitter as well it's sort of at every underscore Chester I couldn't get everything Chester because Twitter only lets you have like so many so many letters uh, and on Instagram and Facebook and everything like that Pinterest it's just everything Chester uh, for all of them obviously my personal ones as well contact uh, underscore Roberts uh, and yeah if you're in if you're uh, an organization or a business or holding an event in Chester just send a tweet over uh, I'll retweet it or you can get in touch with everything dot Chester at gmail.com uh, just send over any content or if you know someone uh, that, that runs that kind of thing get them to send it over I'll happily uh, promote it for them brilliant right I'll uh, catch up with you soon